and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. I'm excited that we are finally, hopefully, in this video, well actually we should be in this video, gonna be testing out the gooseneck trailer behind the mini truck. It's been a long time coming. We put a ton of work into this gooseneck trailer and the one thing that's been holding us up has been the gooseneck coupler. If you guys remember from previous videos, I ordered a coupler from the only website I could find that had the entire assembly in stock and they said it would ship in two to three days. Then on day four, I emailed them and they said, oh yeah, about four to eight weeks, which means they didn't really have it in stock even though they said they did. So I scoured and scoured and scoured to find the entire assembly um, and I'll explain what that assembly looks like in a second here. And I finally found it on Amazon. It looked like it was a complete assembly. It didn't say like inner tube or outer tube only like a lot of the other postings did. So I'm like, cool, I found the entire assembly, ordered it up, then it showed up. And we got this monstrosity right here. So I hate when companies just like tape up and tape a shipping label on the actual product itself versus putting it in a box, but I get it, it's heavy. It's just a pain in the freaking butt to open. Anyways, this showed up and I'm like, man, that does not look like an inner and an outer tube. Now, you know, I'm no gooseneck expert. This will be my first time ever owning any type of gooseneck trailer, but this looks like it's just a freaking inner tube. And well, I wasn't wrong there. Now I'm like scouring the internet to see who sells the outer tube and I can't find the outer tube anywhere. Now to kind of make a little more sense of what we're looking for here, this is an adjustable gooseneck coupler. So basically this piece slides into a bigger tube and then it has these holes right here that you run a pin through and you can basically have, I thought it was eight inches of adjustment. It clearly looks like it's more than that, um, of up and down. So if you have a higher truck, you just raise the coupler up and it'll work in a taller truck versus a lower truck. Regardless, you want that adjustability. Do I really need it for this application? No, because we can weld this to the perfect height of the mini truck. But if the mini truck fails right now and we need to tow this with another vehicle, the adjustability is going to be something we want. So I'm like freaking out being like, where am I going to find, you know, this is four inch outside diameter. Where are we gonna find something with a four inch inside diameter by like quarter inch material there without having to buy a three, four, five hundred dollar ten foot stick or twenty foot stick of it? And I'll be damned if I didn't go to the steel supply house today to go search their remnants and I found like immediately walked straight in and found the perfect cutoff that they were selling. Um, and when it's cutoffs like this, they sell it by the pound. So I ended up spending like $30 on this big old chunk of steel right here that this hitch fits perfectly inside of. So let me get this thing fully unwrapped. I've already been at it for like 10 minutes and it's been a pain in the butt and I'll show you guys how this works. So obviously our inner tube slides inside of our bigger tube here. This tube gets welded to the trailer. We gotta put one hole through here all the way. That way this pin can lock both of these together. I will say though, it is pretty cool. They do put these little covers over top of like your labels and such and you know the instructions on how to fully lock the actual gooseneck so when you paint this thing even though i'm going to be powder coating everything so these probably will not survive um you paint it and then you pull these actual like protective things off instead of trying to like sit there and mask off the sticker or removing the stickers all together the this will protect it you paint it pull these off and then you have fresh stickers pretty cool i mean they could have just i guess sent the stickers separately for you to put on after which i would have preferred but i'm glad to see that they actually thought that far ahead we do got a little Zerk fitting there. I don't really know how any of these work. I've never actually messed with a gooseneck coupler itself. Now, the unfortunate part is we actually have to manufacture our own outer tube here. And from all the ones that I've seen, we have to drill the hole all the way through for this pin. But then they also have two holes up here with uh, welded on nuts. And then they use bolts to basically tighten down to take any of the slop out of the upper portion of the tube. Unfortunately, I don't have a good way to drill through quarter inch steel. I don't really want to fight it. So Dave, He's got his mag drill and his annular cutters, which cut through stuff much easier. So we're actually gonna be going to Dave's house in a minute here and we'll get everything drilled where it needs to be. So I've kind of got it set in place here. Obviously this tube is much too tall. Um, we can end up cutting it probably about, I don't even know, probably right there. It's plenty to cut off here. This is about where I think it's gonna be in its lowest position. We get to kind of choose that though, based on where we drill that hole. Whereas if we bought this, we wouldn't really have that choice. Now you're gonna see where things start to get fun. We have to make this cut, which obviously is gonna to have to be plumb here but then we're gonna kinda have to have a radius in it for this to sit in there and accept it. Then we gotta make sure everything is nice and true and straight, and then this hits center of, basically the center of the trailer there. We're gonna have like a 14 compound radius cut that has to happen here. All right, so we have arrived at, Dave? Dave? Well, it, it's shirtless, it's gotta be Dave. Dave? Dog. But Dave, it's kind of rainy, buddy. Why are we shirtless today? All I need you is just to pop one through there and, there, and that's it, and then I, I leave. <laughs> and that'll get that'll get you out of my hair. Yeah, that'll get yeah, exactly. <laughs> Brought my long drill bit here because obviously we gotta drill a straight hole on both sides. Well, the mag drill isn't gonna drill straight through both sides. I mean, this is a I believe four and a half inches thick here, so 
we got to be able to get a clean hole straight through. So I think what we're going to do is similar to what we did on the bed of the mini truck. We're going to pile it all the way through when we're, once we're squared up in the drill press there. And that'll give us a, a hole here. So basically have a pilot hole and a pilot hole on each side. And then at that point, we just line up the mag drill, use the annular cutter, pop, pop, and we're good to go. So I'm going to run adjustment before we get this clampy gut on here. No, no, got it. Believe four and a half, don't put one. All right, you're at five now. All right. So Dave buys the spring-loaded center punches, but then still beats the crap out of them with a hammer. You can take a boy out of Kentucky. You know? I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> so if you've never seen one of these, they're spring-loaded. Check it out. Push onto your metal. And then it basically fires like kind of like a little impact. There's a little ka-ping that smacks it for you. And thick steel, you know, like you got to do it three or four times to get something. Or if you're Dave, you just smack the crap out of it with a hammer. Why he doesn't buy a regular center punch to smack the crap out of it with a hammer? Not sure, but because it's not the spring loaded one. <laughs> he needs a little suspension when he hits That's things right. with a hammer. Right. We'll get a little drill bitch and right. Dave, you work you work in the pipe for you? Look at this. I gotta learn from the best. Look at I this. work with this guy for long enough to know, like, hey, you know what we need? <laughs> Some shit to make our lives easier. <laughs> Look at that, dude. This was meant to be. It's almost like it's meant for pipe. This right, I'm having a good day. Right? I think this is the first time I've used it for pipe, actually. <laughs> Did you pull, like, we square this way? This measurement to there? Or did we just do that bottom one? I mean, I, you know, like, I, I can't really get to there, but okay. check this out. Pretty. I mean, are we within, like, an eighth? Yeah. But it is within an eighth. Think we've got it to where it's gonna pop directly through the center and directly through the center on the other side. Worst case scenario, if it doesn't, we have a, at least a foot of extra pipe here, so we can cut it off and start over. Safety first. I don't often wear safety glasses. I'm gonna do it with the drill press. I'm worried about a little piece of it that I just want. We got a little issue here. Oh, what happened? We gotta, we gotta bring it up. We need a drill press with a longer throw. This is always fun, moving something after you drilled the first hole. Okay. Think we're gonna stay straight? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we can we can find it again. Are we gonna stay straight going up? No, but we were gonna relocate. Yeah, there's. Yeah. 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 I feel like worst case scenario, you know, we pop the hole a little bit bigger. All right, so we got the mag drill here, which is one of my favorite tools, albeit a very expensive tool to which I would love to purchase one. I was actually looking this morning. Milwaukee sells one for $1,000, but it's got one of these on there. And you guys know, we're all about being cordless nowadays. Well, unfortunately, it goes from, you know, $1,000 corded version. So if you want the cordless version, you're spending $3,200. I can't quite justify that. Instead, I just come over to Dave's house and we use Dave's for free. That's why I'm here. Thanks, buddy. Save the real tanks and stuff for me. Right? That's right. See how well this thing magnets on to a radii, a cylinder, if to you will. Roundness. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I kind of think we can make it work. Yeah, we're going to be holding it, but... This it'll... thing's awesome. I you, know, we, you know what we could also do is probably figure out how to... Bridge it with some plate? Well, use one of those pipe clamps to pipe clamp the mag drill down. What so. if you just like clamp like this? I feel like that's long enough. I'll let you fumble with that. Yeah, like if somebody else recommended that, I'd laugh in their face. Awesome. But if you're recommending it, and I'll probably you'll probably figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I wouldn't have thought to do that. It felt like it moved off square, but it looks slightly off square. All right, here we go, boys. Everybody ready? Now the thing about a mag drill, if it doesn't sense that it's got a real good magnetic hold, it won't stay on. Granted, it tries it, to save you. Yeah, yeah, so it doesn't fall <laughs> off. You can just hold the freaking button down. So now we do the manual override, because this is real smart of this tool, which means you gotta take an extra hand to hold the button down instead of steady the tool. But I think we get this handled. We did it. All right, we're gonna do a little test run here. I don't know what Dave's doing. Dave's over there playing the sound of my people, not his people. Do a little, little test test. See if we line up and get our pin. What are you thinking, dog? I mean, we're looking. We're out about an eighth. 
of like being perfectly plumb with each other, but I feel like we have an ace of play in this. So where that's just gonna work. That's gonna work? That's gonna work. All right, that's good. That's good. I'll take that as a win right there, buddy. All, right. All day long. Okay, we like working. All right, now we need another hole about 90 degrees from this one, and that's gonna be our set screw that once this is in, we're gonna tighten up here and that's gonna take, granted, this doesn't have any slop in it. I feel like we got a tire tolerance and if we would have bought this as a complete unit. But we'll just try and, a little try and offset my uh, squareness on the other holes to try and tighten that up. Oh, that was smart. I see what you're doing there. <laughs> All right, y'all, right, we made it back here. Everything's looking great on this end. Now we need to attach this to this. What I've done is I've gone from not the lowest setting, I've gone one step up and I might actually go up another step there. That way, if we ever hook this up to something bigger, we've still got the play in it. And that'll tell me where to attach this, but we're not worried about that right now because we gotta get this cut to accept this. So I've gone ahead and cut out a piece of cardboard here that is the exact radius of that bad boy. Now in my, I don't know if this is gonna work brain, I would assume that, let's move this out of the way. I hope this doesn't fall on me because this thing is heavy. If I were to put this right here and level it, like that should give us the correct radius to make our cuts. Makes sense in my brain. Only one way to find out. We really only got one shot at this also. Which is my least favorite thing about this stuff. Nothing to it but to do it. Oh, and Zach's here. action happened here and I'm not gonna say it's perfect there's gonna be a couple little gaps we're gonna have to fill but we're not building this on a table with a jig and all that and just basically building all of this free floating in the air I think we did pretty good here give you guys kind of an idea of the cuts there obviously this will tuck up a little bit more once we get her clamped in place and uh, we should be able to get that pretty dang tight right there I'm pretty impressed that went a lot better than I had envisioned that going also here's a little note for you guys if you guys are working on something that requires you to change bits, um, attachments, whatever it may be, such as you're using a grinder with a cutoff disc and you're doing what I'm doing where you're like cutting little bits out, then you need to come in and like grind a little bit out versus cut and you need like a flap disc like this, just sack up, make the investment into two tools. That way you can have one dedicated with the cutoff disc, one dedicated with the flap disc and you're not having to sit there and switch back and forth because that just eats up an insane amount of time. This makes life much, much easier, especially in like the cordless tool world. There's nothing that expensive. I don't know what these are going for now. Buck 60, buck 70, buy two of them, make your life easier. We still got a little gap right there we gotta fill, but we ain't too worried about that right now. She is looking absolutely killer. I mean, other than the fact that it is pretty much dark outside, I see no reason why we can't actually hook this up right now. Take it out and let's see how this thing freaking toes. Andre, YouTube, YouTube Andre. Yeah, st still does car hauling, stores his semis, semi shop, I don't know. It's Andre, that's Andre. Apparently very nervous being on camera. Are you on parole or something, you on the run? No. What? what? <laughs> She ain't gonna know what time this was that you were here not getting your wife food. 
You're okay. All right, Andre, you got a CDL, buddy. Get this hooked up for us here. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. All right, about right there. Oh, oh too far, Andre, Andre. All right, no, you're good right there. You're good right there. I don't know which way's open, which way's closed. I probably should look at that. I'm gonna assume that's lined up should be open, and then over should be locked, right? I don't know. All right, buddy, take her down. Okay, that's locked. Bring her back up. There we go, there we go. Woo, she is close to the bed. Oh, we are locked. Look at that, she's not even squatting. We got us a freaking gooseneck trailer on a daggone mini truck here. Woo, look at this. We gotta move about 8,000 things now to pull us outside. Good news is, you know, we gotta clean the shop up anyway for tomorrow for Zach to have a customer truck in here. So, you know, let's just do that right now, you know? So, of course, the mini truck don't wanna start now that uh, we just did all this work, but let me put my pins in here. Oh, well, this has already got a bolt in, so. We'll leave that bolt in, but if you guys watched the other episode of uh, the restaurant we are building, you saw when we found these super sweet pins, which actually ended up working perfectly. So, I already pinned the other side. This side's locked in, which means the bed ain't really going anywhere. Zach's over here hot wiring this thing. Now it would be my luck, and you guys have watched the channel long enough to know that this thing would never start again after we put in all this work to build a trailer for it. So, oh, I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful. Normally, if it got to this point, it should have started by now. This is a little bit abnormal for this thing. It's not usually this hard to start. Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. Ooh, ooh, why we got so much white smoke? Dude, why so much water come out of it? It's rusty too. Yeah. We're gonna let her warm up for a hot minute here before we uh, put this load on it. And it's raining outside. <laughs> She's had insult to injury here. So tonight, we're gonna prove whether this thing will pull it out of the shop. Tomorrow, when it's daytime, We'll do some full testing with this thing and see just how she does. I don't know who smokes more, Andre or the freaking truck. Now, the one thing I'm a little bit concerned of is we put like a good amount of space in here, but every time we did something up front, we shortened it. So by the time we put this kick in there, we shortened it a couple inches, we took out of it. Uh, cutting it to put the actual coupler on, we just shortened it a couple of inches. So I'm hoping that's enough room to turn. Zach, what do you think? I've never pulled a gooseneck with a manual transmission. Here we go, y'all made it, boys. I need my tow gear. And we don't got us a working gooseneck on the mini truck and the mini truck wasn't complaining. Like, I'm in first gear putting around. I know I'm not doing anything crazy with it. It's not fully built yet with the wood decking, but it don't seem like it's struggling. You know, out here in the rain. Woo! Trailer builder now, guys. I'm a trailer builder. Look at that bad boy, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that setup right there. Again, we gotta cut that tube down a little bit, but and I'm sorry it's so dark right now. GoPros suck at night, but. It. This is a hell of a combo right here, guys. I think we knocked it out of the park. Uh, we got the 6 0 pulled out of the shop. That's going to be staying out of here for a little while. We got to uh, back this old girl in now. I mean, we couldn't pull it in and back it out later, but let's see how this thing backs up. Who's the mini truck? We could have Andre do it. Uh, tighten the lug nuts, man. I'll do it. Never backed up a gooseneck.
I might just start building and selling trailers. If any of you guys have a Japanese truck, key truck, Honda, Suzuki, whatever it may be, you just hit me up. I'll build you a custom gooseneck for it. If this old Chinese truck is full, then Honda's got to be next level stuff right here. I'll even tighten the lug nuts down for the one that I built for you. We're done for tonight. That's about all we got going on. Tomorrow, though, we actually got some daylight and no rain. We tighten the lug nuts. I'm gonna actually take this thing around the block and see how she does. Well, this is like, I'm a lot happier than I had anticipated I would be with this setup. So, I think we've done good. Zach, great work, buddy. I was just watching. Is this what it feels like to be you half the time? Well, hold the camera. If you hold the camera while you watch, that's what I it's like. I tried that today and it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, Zach actually bought a GoPro to do some vlogging. How'd that work out? I got a solid four minutes worth of content today. Okay. Yeah. Because I got here and you weren't here and I just started working. <laughs> it's tough to actually work and film. Like there's so many days I wish I could just set the camera down, not film anything and actually get work done. Um, and I think there's actually been a day or two I've probably stuck in here and done that. You'd like to say something you're like, that was dumb. You gotta say it all over again. <laughs> and I'm not gonna do that, so. <laughs> yeah. It's not easy being a vlogger. Let me tell you. Alrighty, y'all, we are back. It is sunny today, no more rainy nights. We've got Chris here to make sure everything goes just as planned for our testing. I'm gonna throw a couple more lug nuts on the old wheels here um, and actually do a little more than uh, a little more than hand tight there. And we can do a little more invasive testing. I still have not greased these uh, bearings and the axles, but don't worry. We're not gonna be going too far, albeit Chris says we got a mission. We got a mission. We got a mission. Okay, maybe we're gonna put the trailer to work already. Doc, doc, I'm jacking the truck. What are you Sorry, doing? Jeez, know. guy. Just trying to get comfortable. Jeez. I mean, there's other stuff so you can sit on. I mean, dog, Dedic number two over here. What? Every, everything is half hand tight, yeah. So we got the wheels on really tight. Everything else, it's a little, a hair above hand tight. And the reason being is the bolts all have like these little ridges on there that once we like tighten down all of the actual leaf surge suspension here, it, it basically locks itself into whatever metal that it's on. So when I go to disassemble this and powder coat it, I gotta sit there with a hammer and beat all of these out, or we just don't fully tighten them yet. So we're going for the not fully tightened yet. Now, before we go on our mission today, you know, we can't just pull a trailer without any type of lighting on it. So Sergio's gonna wire us up a quick little temporary LED flasher running off a battery setup back there. That way, you know, we're as legal as we can be. You can't walk to Sergio's? Oh. We're gonna make it easy for Sergio though. We're gonna drive over there, you know? On trip. <laughs> now if you hear that weird sound, there's like a plate or something that's like rattling and making weird sounds. It takes a minute before it gets around. What the, that's embarrassing. Okay, so Zach yelled at me. He says, we need to grease the bearings for our trip that we're about to make. He says, we will cook them, even though we're only going, you know, 20 something miles an hour. Look at this beautiful setup, though. Let me help you there, buddy. Dog, I'm gonna name this the Chris Corner, buddy. This is your favorite corner to sit on. What? This is your favorite corner to sit on. Oh. oh look at that, we already got the battery on there. Dang, Sergio. Let's just leave it like this permanently. <laughs> once this thing's powder coated. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my sunglasses here, okay. Oh, jeez, hold on, we gotta put our cotter pins in. Don't want these walking out. I never wanna grease bearings again, that sucked. You guys can thank Zach though. Thanks Zach for making me do it so I don't get yelled at by you guys in the comment section anymore about not greasing those bearings. Grab some needle nose pliers here, so we can flare out our cotter pins. Then we're ready for our road trip. All right, let's turn on our rear lights here. Compliments of IEP-USA.com. Look at that. Safety first, you can even hear the flasher. We are official right there, guys. Now, I'm gonna do a couple of test runs here. We're gonna do some high speed stopping to make sure, you know, before we get out into traffic, we can actually stop this thing. Can you hold the camera? I gotta do everything right here. 
I know, I know. Let's get out on the main road here. Let's do some, some high speed braking. High speed braking? Oh yeah. Well, are, you, are you actually putting your seatbelt off for once? Yeah, I should probably put them. They don't really work. I don't know what the point of them is, but see if she'll stop with the trailer weight behind us here. What's that? It's metal. All right, we're going 25. Shit, stop! I feel like it don't stop any different than it does without the trailer. Foot all the way down? No, I could have like mashed it, but I ain't trying to blow the brakes out. Let's just preserve what brakes we have. Yeah, this thing tracks really well. Show behind them, man. Oh, okay. Look at that. All right, we'll do one more high speed run here. And then I'm pretty confident for our road trip. Look at the cat! You, you just ran over the cat. We killed the cat, but we stopped. We didn't kill the kid. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Kind of nervous on a slope, but this isn't gonna like yank us backwards when we're trying to take off from a stoplight. See what happens. What? Whoa, 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 guys, whoa, Jesus guys, whoa. Christ. We almost had to test our brakes right there. This guy almost cut out in front of us. She good? We good, son. We good. Look at this thing. We're golden, guys. I'm pretty impressed right now. All right, we're coming up to a stoplight here. I don't think we've lost anything, right? We still got we still got our lights set up. Our lights are back there. Oh well, we got a green light. We don't even have to stop. Look at that gooseneck trailer. Ours is better. I gotta say, guys, like this thing actually stops halfway decent. Jesus. Got some shooting over here with this here VW. Oh, dude. This thing is the perfect size for this mini truck. Just wait till you guys see what we're going to go get. This is Chris's idea. He called me so excited about this. <laughs> I'm super excited. Hurry up, man. Go faster. You all good? It only goes so fast. I only go so fast without a trailer, let alone with a trailer. Look at that though, look at that trailer. Whoa, 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 Hey guy, watch out. Real tractor trailer coming through. Yeah. Real tractor trailer. All right, let's make a turn in here. Look at that tracking right there, look at that. See, it's a good trailer. All right, we're almost to where Chris says we need to come. to that, buddy? Make a left. Make a left? It's right there. What the hell? I thought it was way cooler than that. What do you mean? Bro. Really? That thing is sick. Dude, that thing look, Zach's the only one that's gonna be able to fit on it. Exactly. Exactly? It's for, it's for Zach. Okay. Now we're not just putting on a bit for this video, guys. Chris didn't know we were gonna be filming today. He called me saying how we need to come over to his warehouse because we got a super sick slide. This thing's been pooped on. So, okay, so this is gonna be our first load here. This thing's pretty heavy. Dude, this thing's thick. Yeah. All right, hold on, I gotta put the camera down. <laughs> What? Bro, it's like it was made for this trailer, right? Gra grab the ratchet straps, you know, let's check out my stake pockets, his tie down point. So you guys always see Chris and he's all like tired, unmotivated, hanging out of the shop after work. All of a sudden this guy's all spry and ready for like some action because he found a, a slide that you won't fit on. All right, buddy, go ahead. Tighten her down. Oh, solid. Flick the strap, we gotta flick the strap. I don't wanna lose the slide on the road. Not going anywhere. Oh, tie that up, man. We gotta be DOT legal here. Oh, oh, dang. Oh, dang. Tokyo trip! Tokyo trip! 
I gotta say, y'all, I'm super impressed. Oh, jeez, just hit the camera. You all right, buddy? Got everything? We got everything? Slide's still on there after our little acrobatic show there. Dude, this is the setup right here. We got mini trucks still running great, nice and cool. We got our temps are good. If, the, if that gauge works, it probably doesn't work. Oh, shoot, we're getting past. Whoa, whoa, we got passed whoa. by an S10. We're bigger than him. Ram him. I'll hit him. I ain't scared. Bit. We gotta go back to the shop with your sweet score of a slide that you're in charge of getting rid of. No wheels have fallen off yet. I think we're golden. I don't see any weird like flex in the bed. The bed looks super solid. So I think it's safe to say we're not gonna tear that up. Granted, we still gotta put wood decking on the trailer. There's a couple little more things that have gotta go on weight wise, but we're pretty much within weight. We're gonna maybe, maybe add another 100 to 200 pounds to it, which shouldn't be detrimental being that this thing's not struggling at all. Now, the ranch isn't paved roads. It's gonna be a little different out there, but you know, so far I'm very happy with our test. You know what I never did? I'm just remembering. I never put the ball, the, the pin in the ball that's in the bed of the truck. So if we hit a big enough bump, theoretically, granted we got enough tongue weight, the whole ball could just lift up out of the truck right now. All right, let's open her up here. Let's see just how fast she'll go. Dude, we're at 30 right there. Like why is all of a sudden the rev limiter not a thing? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, we're back. We're back. I feel it now. Yeah, like we're on a downhill right now. Coming off of a, you know, 25, 27 mile an hour run there. Plenty of room to stop at a stoplight. Like I'm very confident in this setup right now. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Like the trailer's just short enough that it's not like a hassle to have it hooked up. Zach! I got you something. Zach, take a break. I got you something. You ready? You ready for Chris's gift? No need to clean up. Yeah, no need to clean up. I think Chris wanted it for himself, but. No, I got it for Zach. It's not his size. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Going at the ranch, right? Hell no, put it right here. <laughs> the thing weighs like freaking 100 something pounds. I got you a slide, buddy. Dude, we'll prop it up on the forklift right now. Can we, uh. We'll hose it off. Can we, can we cut a hole in the wall? It's not quite that big, and it like, whose idea was the hard crook to really hurt you your know, hips? You've never seen the kid go, da -dunk. Yeah, that's <laughs> what this is. You can ride doubles. No, Chris, you're gonna get stuck in it. For you. You're, you're gonna get like ankles and hip and go, and just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you get stuck right here. I know you always wanted one. I did. We're just trying to give you that childhood you've been longing for years. Oh, okay. Anybody got a pontoon boat? <laughs> Chris, buy a pontoon boat. Can we just talk about like the mini truck's first load? Like, like nothing. <laughs> like a nothing. Because it weighs a whole hundred pounds. Oh, I hit myself in a wiener. How high do you think we need to go? Probably like right there. Okay. I think I have the top. It looks like this is where like some handhelds, handles went. How do we safely attach this for Zach? Dog, push it to me. Wait, hold on, it's upside down. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? I don't, this side looks way more open than this side. Well, maybe it's the same. I don't know, like. Why is it? This is funky. It does look universal. This side's well, cleaner. because you can switch off. Well, this thing. side's cleaner. Zach! <laughs> Zach, we're ready! We should probably strap it. I don't think that's gonna do anything there, buddy. It's not. How? To what? Not even on a fork? <laughs> we need to like put some cleats right here and we can strap it that way. It's not gonna do anything. Threw away Chris's method here. We clamp some clamps on there. Now she is like about as solid as she's gonna get. Zach, you want me to slick it up? I'll slick it up here with a little bit of whatever we got lying around here. I'll climb up and I'm gonna wax my way down. It's this turn that like worries me that's like, that is pretty solid. 
Oh, dude. We're gonna have tons of fun on a slide. <laughs> Sloop her up a little bit here. A little ceramic wax. Oh, 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 okay. A little scary. It's a little scary. Oh, yeah. Super sick. I feel like I want something here. It's pretty get a little weird. That's a slide post. <laughs> it's pretty solid. Like, I'm tempted to ride it. I'm just scared of this freaking corner. This thing's just gonna catch me if I fall, okay? Let's see. Let's do a little. Yeah. Put your hands up. Wee! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was the dumb kink? Zach, you gotta ride this thing, man. It's a blast. All right, buddy. This is definitely not your size, but man. No, you got this. It ain't going no. nowhere. <laughs> Just commit, buddy. Just commit. All the way up. All the way up. Zach, watch me. Not my side. Let's see, Zach. That's pretty solid, dude. Look at this. Oh, we both rode it. Look, at you already lubed up for the slide. Uh, Don't act like you're not happy. Yeah. Ready? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> like, whose idea was this stupid kink, you know? I don't think this is a proof for like the playground. You did go the fastest though. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Chris is acting like he's got an idea here. This is Chris wandering around the shop trying to figure something out. What? What are you gonna do with this? You're really slight. You're gonna break that. Gonna yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's totally that's not how that works, Chris. Whatever. There we go. Now we're gonna have us some races. Oh, oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, Alright, Chris, get up there. I feel like this got slippery. <laughs> Don't get on top of that, you're gonna lose a knee again. <laughs> now what? You what? push the blanket out. <laughs> I built the slide for the other kids to die. Oh, oh Joe, God. bro. Oh. You are ballsy. You got a lot of faith in my clamp. <laughs> I wanna get down. <laughs> I wanna get down. <laughs> 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 Okay, we've, we've repositioned our post support here just a hair. I don't know if I like it better there or not. It's slippery. It is slippery. Hey, you doing the moonwalk? I mean, you gotta... <laughs> Jesus. You have to lift your feet up. I don't want to hit my hip. <laughs> I just got it. It's a new one. <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, oh, yeah, we I think we, we got our four minutes of fun out of this thing. Great, great pick. Yep. Great job. Best news, though, is I mean, not we did just get a slide thanks to Chris, but the best news is so far the mini truck gooseneck trailer combo here has passed all the tests we've put it through, which is good. I, I got a couple little pieces I need to weld on still. Obviously, we need to cut the goofy, ginormous um, pipe there, cut that down to size, and then uh, that should be ready for powder coat. But with that, guys. We're gonna wrap up. I don't even know how long this video ended up being with Chris's slide mission, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you don't miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a okay, thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want on the slide, you gotta be willing to work for it. Jeez, I thought it fell again. We're gonna go play on the slide. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.